Welcome back to creating animation. So now we are going to go ahead and click on the character tab. You want to click on create a new character. Make sure you always save and go. And here we're going to select the style. So we have business friendly, contemporary, and whiteboard. And as you know, the contemporary one is my favorite. So we're going to start with the male and they do have several body types and the smallest is a child there are limited actions with a child so I'm, I very rarely choose those so let's start with the face so you can go ahead and go here click on the face structure you know they have a lot of creative things here do a five o'clock shadow or a full beard or you know change the color of the beard and the style of the beard so just to show you some few things there, you can always change the color of the skin. Um, they have the grid over here, so you can just move your mouse around until you find your desired skin color. Then we do have so many options for hair. So we got a little short haircut. You can put a hat on, you know, give them an afro or some braids. Just all kinds of options here even some long hair <laughs> football helmet you know so just play around with it it's pretty fun lots of creative ideas here and all the hairstyles are unisex so you can you know put long hair on the guy or color hair on the guy and just like a short hair on the girl as well and then you want to change the hair color so you can change it to whatever you want it to be i change mine to black and then you can always change the mouth so they have several styles of styles of lips and then what i like to do is just change the color um, to be like the at least a little bit darker than the skin complexion so it's noticeable realistic for us all right and that's just making the lip line be black so we can go to ears so they have different styles of earrings so if I want him to have two studs we'll go ahead and put those in now the eyes is really what make the character so you have crazy eyes silly eyes sad eyes you know just different eyes makes the face come to life so be careful when you're picking those because so it kind of determines how the person is going to look. So I like those. And it automatically defaults to like certain colors. So make sure you change the eye color to what you want it to be. Um, so you can do light brown or even green or gray, blue. But um, I'm going to do a little bit dark brown. All right. So then you want to go to the eyebrows, which, you know, determines faces as well. You can look angry without even being angry, depending on the eyebrow type. And then we want to change the eyebrow, um, the color of it, make it darker, like the hair color. And now let's go to the nose. So several options for nose, not too many, but you know, some realistic options here. So there you go. Give him a little tiny nose and you can always add eyewear, glasses. I wear glasses myself, but very rarely put glasses on a character so you can be cool have some nice shades on all right so let's go to the clothing so in the clothing got several outfits you know you can mix and match you know make them wear whatever you want i'm gonna put him on a little jacket since he has his cool glasses and then we can change the color of these things so make him have a black jacket or make him have a red jacket totally up to you and then we can change the color of the scarf make the scarf black you know and just have some style in the hands you can add gloves all right and then for pants let's see yeah blue jeans kind of want some black pants yeah too tight yep those those are pretty cool oh okay yeah i like those all right, then you can change the color of those, make them a little bit darker, change the shoes to whatever you want them to be. 
and just like with everything else you should be able to change the color of the shoes so change the color to ooh, I don't like that that's, that's a little bit too bright but yeah we'll do black all right so the very last one is accessories so when you add an accessory you can do you know things like a little mustache you want to always go back and add another one so you can you know if say you want to add a beard or a mo on the face or you know some freckles you know you have to click add after each time so that the one prior saves so we got him a mustache we got him a mo you know we can give him a scar you know whatever you want to do you can add that want to see anything i like you know a little little tiny beard and we can change that make it a little bit darker black and now he looking cool let's make that mustache a little bit darker too so now he looks cool all right you got your character so now you go to uh, let's see i'll take the glasses off yeah all right so now let's go to save and then you want to go ahead and add to video or you can create another character totally up to you if we do create another character or say we want to copy from our library you can click on that same person you had but then change his clothes so say you have a scene where he's going to work and then the next scene he's going to the gym you want to keep all his features and everything the same but you want to change his clothes so that makes the story realistic because you know everybody changes clothes every every day so that way you can keep your character but just only change the outfits so he's just out and about and we can just change his shoes maybe he's lounging around the house you know or just got some sneakers on so totally up to you what you want to do and you can pretty much make a match by clicking that little dropper and hovering over the hoodie and makes the shoes is the same exact color so i wanted them to have like some camouflage pants but ugh, that looks horrible let's find something else yeah those aren't too bad and there you go so save that and then like i said you can always create another character so let's try to make a woman so let's make a woman so let's look at her face so you got some few options here change it like i said change your skin color and once you get the hang of it you'll have a lot of characters created really fast and let's change your hair hmm. yeah i like that one Okay, so change your hair, make sure we change the color, because sometimes it looks a little bit too, like, kind of gray. So always make it really jet black. And it has the highlights color as well. Let's go to the lips. Um, we we'll have some full lips. Mm, change the color to, like, some red. The lips are just popping. All right, some earrings like these make the hoops better okay let's focus on the eyes like i said the eyes are the part that definitely want to make sure it looks good and we can have some brown eyes yep okay and then let's change your clothes they have for um, they do have specific clothes for certain body types, so you'll see that as well. Um, you know, once you get in there and, and check it out. So you just put her on a regular blouse. Let's change the color. Like I said, you can always change the color to whatever you want. Teal is my favorite color. Besides red, you will learn that. I use those colors a lot. And then here's what I was telling you about. If you click on the hand icon, you can put some gloves on if you wanted to. Set up several skirts and different kinds of pants here. So 
So, totally up to you what you want to add. And even with these patterns like this, we can change the overall color, but not the design color. So, just want to make it match a little bit better. See, that was kind of cute. And then, let's see, maybe make the, no, I will try to make the, the shirt part gray so it can match better. Yeah, I like that better. All right, let's look at the shoes. So, some cute shoes to go with this long skirt, maybe some flats. And you know me, I like to match it. <laughs> and I uh, see so got her little outfit. And we can add some accessories. So, you know, if you want her to have some freckles. And let's see, maybe. Can add a scar that goes on her forehead. I don't really like that. And you have like a little head scarf, so we can change the color of that too. Make sure it matches everything. Head, toe, and teal. <laughs> but yeah, it's just simple like that. And save it, and you're pretty much good to go. Let's add it to our video. Alright, so when the video loads up, you can just, let's just go ahead and add a new scene just to go ahead and use our characters. So we'll just do a store scene. So like I said before, you want to click on the person, let's click on replace, and then let's put our new lady in there. Let's click on her, and there she is, she's in the store, let's click on him. And there he's in the store. So we got a new characters for a new scene. And that's how you create characters and add them to the scenes. And then you go ahead and make the actions, you know, have a talking. And then have him talking or you can have you. And you can change the direction you want their faces to be. It seems like he's really talking to her. And then let's add a camera. So we can zoom in on the conversation. Alright, and you always want to preview your work. She is talking about something. <laughs> and you always want to continue the scene. So now we can go ahead and change it to this guy. Let's see what he's talking about. Make sure you click on him and make sure you make him be the one that's talking now. So go ahead and make him talk. And once you do the voiceover and everything, you can uh, measure it and, you know, move the people or move the scenes in the appropriate duration that it's so supposed to be for that dialogue that you're adding. So right now, it's, since there's no real script, we're just playing it. You know, she could be saying anything and then he replies, oh, you know, tomorrow's going to be cold outside, you know, simple stuff like that. And then you can go on and on. Having a full conversation. And then say you want to end the conversation with him or with her talking. And him just, you know, not saying anything.
And remember, you know, with quick access, you can always add people in the scene that you already had in the film or the video. So it's like, remember, this guy is from the other part where he's at the workplace. So we can just randomly pull him in the scene and have him walking as if he got in the store. So it ties the two stories together. I always want to order him because that that um candy shelf was in front of him. So let's do walk in. Let's have him just walking by. Turn him around. Make sure we add our motion path to him. Going. He's stopping in mid, so we're gonna go and right click on our mouse, add a point and then pull him out the scene. So while they're having their conversation, he's gonna be walking by. Yep, always make sure your eye sets are always in the front if somebody is walking behind them. Let's preview from the beginning. So, you know, I told Jam the other day that I wasn't gonna be able to come over. Well, I mean, didn't you talk to him beforehand I mean I was saying yeah I told him but you know maybe tomorrow see quick and easy and save your work always save your work 